Hi, in this activity, we will investigate various types of worms by exploring a topology that uses diverse connectivity technologies. And here is our topology on the left hand side. Uh, it's a business worm with a headquarter connected to three stores. And the headquarter connect to the headquarter net with uh, the, some departments here. And on the right hand side is the customer one. And we have two home networks, the home DSL network and the home cable network. So firstly, we will investigate consumer one technologies. So the first question is what are the WAN technologies in use? We can see here we have the COSIO cable connection from the COSIO splitter to the ISP. So this is the internet cable technologies used for WAN connection. And the second one is the, we have a DSL modem that connect to the ISP using the telephone line. So this is the DSL technologies. Now we will examine the DSL modem. Click on it and zoom in. Here on this device, we can see the line zero port. There is for the port of the telephone line and we connect this port to the ISP and here is a fat Ethernet port to connect to the wireless router too. So as I told before the media connect to this port is the telephone line cable and the cable connect from this port, the fat Ethernet port to the wireless router is a copper cable or crossover copper cable here. Yeah. The next question is what is the purpose of the DSL modem? This modem converts the Ethernet signal on the LAN network to the signal that can transmit on the telephone line. The next question is what is the tie of connection between the ISP or telco or cable company network and the home cable network? And here is the connection. We can see it's a Corsio cable media. And why is the splitter necessary? There is a splitter. This device splits the signal to a television or a TV and the data signal to the cable modem. So this uh, Corsio splitter purpose is to split the signal based on the characteristic of the TV signal and the cable modem signal. Now on, we move on to this question. What does the cable modem do? The cable modem here. Yeah. The cable modem convert the signal from the uh, Corsio connection uh, to the Ethernet connection to the wireless router. So here's the Corsio port connect to the splitter and here's a fat Ethernet port connect to the wireless router. Where did the interface address come from? The IP address come from the ISP. Now, 
look at the smartphone what is its IP address and where did the IP address come from you can drag the mouse to the smartphone and you can see the 3G 4G cell 1 and the IP address so the IP address come from the ISP and the data service uh, the cell phone it currently using is a cellular data now we move on to step 3 explore the business one the first question is what different types of connections do you see in use in the business network here is a business network we have three stores connect to the headquarters through a store net switch and the red line here are the optical connection we can see the optical connection So let let check it. Gigabit Ethernet one one three. So which connection has the uh, red light? So on the connection tie here, maybe the three connections from the stores to the store net. Maybe it's fiber connection and the line in black is the copper straight through connection now what types of interfaces are present on the store net switch you click on it you can zoom in Here, you can see the built-in ports on this switch. This port is for connect the copper structural cable. Then we see the GLC LX at MD module. This one. So this module operate in gigabit Ethernet ports and it uses uh, 1000 by LH LH SFP it means uh, uh, optical media and we also have the GLCT yeah, do you see here it's a uh, 1000 by T SFP and the media is a category 5 unshield twisted pair copper cabling. So the question which interfaces and media are used to connect the store networks to the business headquarters networks? I think so it's uh, the interface a gigabit optical interface. I use to connect to the star networks. And the next question is what type of one service used to connect the business headquarter router to the ISP? Yeah, the headquarter router to the ISP. So it's the serial connection. You can uh, compared to the serial here, the serial DC and serial DT connection. Now we move on to part two, explore connectivity. You can ping devices within the business one and the consumer one networks. For example, I can ping from the store one network to the the headquarter 
uh, from store 1 to store 3 and click on and here so fail in the first packet the second one fail successful and you can ping from store 1 to the web server fail for the first packet and successful for the second one and I can ping from the laptop one to the store one fail first packet laptop one to store one second one fail and the last one fail so we cannot ping from the home DSL network to the store network so can we ping from the laptop to the headquarter fail for the first cannot ping to the headquarter but we can ping from the laptop to the uh, web server successful okay so that is all for this activity thanks for watching